Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Vishnu Sasanam playlist from Exotic Astrology and today we are going to start uh, from where we left. The last time we discussed about uh, Mahavishi Vyas and we offered uh, our gratitude to him because without him you will not be sitting here and listening and I will not be sitting here and speaking. So if we are able to do this, it's only because of him and this is the uh, this this playlist is there so if you have not watched the earlier videos please watch it watch them okay so it's very essential we know about Vyasdev so the sloka went like this there were two slokas if I am correct Vyasam Vasishthanap Talam Shakte Potram Kalmasham Parasharat Majam Vande Shukatatam Tapo Nidhim Vyasaya Vishnu Rupaya Vyasa Rupaya Vishnave Namo vai Brahma Nidhaye Vidhaye Vasishthaya Namo Nama. Okay. Uh, and now we are going to continue with the next two slokas today. <coughs> and after this, Vyasdev will, uh, this, uh, this Yudhishthir Maharaj's entry will be there after these two slokas. Okay. So these two slokas are also very foundational for Vishnu Sahasranam. And they are. Avikaraya Shuddhaya Nityaya Paramatmane Sadaika Rupa Rupaya Vishnave Sarva Jishnave. Then the next shloka is Yasya Smarana Matrena Janma Samsara Bandhana Dimuchayati Namastas Namatasme Vishnave Prabha Vishnave Om Namo Vishnave Prabha Vishnave. Why do I say these two are very prominent? Because they they tell you about Lord Vishnu, okay, and that's what we are doing. We are reading Vishnu Sasanam. So, why should we read this? These two slokas answer, okay. I mean, uh, Bhishma Pitam answers it later on, okay, and Yudhishthira also asks questions and Bhishma answers. So, Yudhishthira is a very great personality. So, he he actually knows all of these, as I said earlier in the videos of Vishnu Sasanam. Uh, he, he doesn't need to hear all this, but He's asking for benefit of others, for people like you and me. <laughs> All right, so uh, we must offer our respects to Yudhishthira Maharaj also, and of course to Bhishma Pitama. Bhishma Pitama has not yet entered. Yudhishthira has not yet entered. All right, so what is the meaning of this shloka? Avikara ya shuddhaya nityaya paramatmane sadaika rupa rupaya vishnave sarva jishnave. I wrote down before. To Lord Vishnu. So, Avikaraya Shuddhaya, who is pure, okay. And uh, what does it mean, Avikaraya Shuddhaya? Vikara means, uh, the word Vikara has many meanings. One of the meanings is uh, any impurities, basically, okay. So, Avikaraya. So, Sanskrit is very intricate, and I am not a Sanskrit scholar, as I have said earlier also. Uh, but Avikaraya means that, in this context, it means that. Lord Vishnu is one who is totally without any fault. Okay, why do we see this? Uh, say this because uh, we we know the story of Sagar Manthan. Okay, and yes, before speaking of Sagar Manthan, I forgot to say if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you have not watched the videos earlier from this playlist, please watch. And if you want a consultation from me, please go down to the website down below. Okay, in the description section. And yes. Lord Vishnu is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Because it's Vishnu Sasaram, so Lord Vishnu is there today. So why does it say Avikaraya? Because uh, he's uh, he doesn't have any flaws. He doesn't have any faults. So the living entities, they, they have a lot of faults actually. Like uh, you, me, everybody else. Okay. So there is, um, we know this story from Sagar Manthan when Lakshmi ji came out. Uh, actually, Lakshmi ji is eternally there in Vaikuntha. She doesn't come out from uh, some fancy ocean, okay. Uh, she's eternally residing uh, with Lord Narayana in Vaikuntha in spiritual world. But uh, when she manifests in this material world, in this Brahmanda, then what happens is uh, she uh, comes out from the ocean, okay. Uh, which the Devatas and the Danavas were churning to uh, get Amrit. So then Lakshmiji comes out and she has a beautiful garland in her hand. So she is waiting to make uh, somebody as her husband. Although Lord Vishnu is eternally her husband, uh, they are eternally consorts. But uh, in this material world, she does this Leela. So 
what happens she goes to everybody individually uh she sees all the devatas everybody all all whoever is there in this universe but she she is able to notice that there is some defect or flaw in somebody uh, maybe more or less but somebody has some defects and flaws always nobody is perfect okay and then when she sees lord vishnu then she realizes oh yes he is the perfect man <laughs> okay and she goes and puts the garland okay on him and uh, therefore uh, many times uh, people ask me uh, that uh, they want a perfect uh, wife so a perfect wife is lakshmi and sometimes ladies tell me uh, i am seeing many proposals but there are these these problems in the men who i am seeing so you won't find a perfect man or a perfect woman that that is only possible if somebody is lakshmi and narayan okay otherwise it's not possible so uh, this is a very big lesson that uh, even, even lakshmi ji when she was going on finding she could not find anybody there was only one personality she found all right so therefore uh, we have to be realistic in our expectations in this material realm okay everybody has some flaws faults and defects everybody will do mistakes they will have they will commit blunders all right so we we have to be cognizant of this fact all right and avikara ya shuddhaya so he is perfectly pure so what does this mean he is perfectly pure i mean uh, does it mean that somebody is impure or he is pure so what does it mean this means basically this means that see the word purity has uh, you can say purity at many levels okay one is purity of the body which means you clean your body your body is not dirty then there is purity of your uh, mind which means you have good thoughts clean thoughts you do not have thoughts which are fueled by the six anarthas lust greed anger pride envy illusion kama krodha loba moha mada matsarya these six six uh, anarthas which pull you down so that is mental cleanliness okay so if you are lusty you are thinking about some member of the opposite sex then you are having dirty thoughts because they will make you more animalistic if you are having greed greed means so lust is a very deadly junction uh, because krishna says in the gita na kama esha krodha esha rajoguna samudha mahashalo mahapapa vidhena mi havari nam no oh, arjuna lust is the most deadliest enemy of mankind so Uh, the gita says when lust is not fulfilled so lust is here okay here then when lust is suppose your lust is fulfilled then it becomes greed so perfect example of this is ravana he he had uh, the most beautiful queens of the entire universe and especially mandodri they were the most beautiful most intelligent most chaste most caring loving kind <laughs> the most feminine uh, woman uh, that any man can get uh, mandudri was like that. then he had another wife dhanya malini then he had thousands of other uh, queens who he had uh, abducted for his uh, sexual uh, desires to fulfill his sexuality but so his lust was getting fulfilled all the time but then what happened this became greed and then he wanted sita devi also okay then he abducted her but suppose your lust is not fulfilled okay so lust is here it doesn't become greed then it be- goes down it becomes what anger okay so basically those people who are very much angry they are basically lusty okay uh, because la- now lust doesn't mean uh, only desire for the opposite sex lust can mean desire to control something control somebody okay so uh, wh- why do we get angry because uh, the conception we have inside is everything should go our way and when it doesn't go when somebody doesn't behave the way we want them to behave then we get angry because our lust is not getting fulfilled we are not able to enjoy you know, either the body of that person or the person's mind or some, some influence over this world okay that's why people get angry so and then we have uh, last greed anger these are the three anathas then we have envy pride illusion here in akashapu is uh, example of you know like envy then pride you know arrogance all this so uh, so therefore these anarthas are there which 
pull us down. But Lord Vishnu is totally above these anarthas. Okay, so there is nothing which can affect him actually, because uh, he he's beyond matter. So nothing material can actually affect him. So that is why he's known as completely pure. Okay. So that's mental purity or you can say materialistic uh, or you can say spiritual purity that uh, nothing nothing material can actually pull him down. Okay, That is why he is considered to be very pure. Avikaraya Shuddhaya Nityaya Paramatmane. Okay. Who is permanent? Nityaya means he is eternally like this. Okay, Paramatmane. Paramatma means he is uh, like we are Atma. We are the Chit. Okay. And when this the chit is pure consciousness, when chit comes into material world, it becomes chitta. Okay, but but he is pure. He is he is he can never be contaminated by matter. Okay, because he says in the Gita, Maya Dhakshina Prakriti Suyate Sacharacharam. Okay, so this material nature is working under my jurisdiction. Okay, so. Uh, Lord Vishnu can never become contaminated by matter. That's not possible because he himself has created all this. Okay, so Nitya Paramatma. So he eternally remains the Paramatma. Paramatma Param means the supreme. Okay, so we are Atma and he is supreme. He is the source of all the Atmas. Okay, he is like uh, the energetic. Sadaika Rupa Rupaya, Vishnave Sarva Jishnave, who is the ultimate truth? He who wins over everything. Jishnu, the word Jishnu is used, okay? Vishnave Sarva Jishnave. Jishnu means one who is ever victorious. The word Jishnu has many meanings. One who has conquered uh, everybody. And one of the meaning, one of the names of Arjuna in the Mahabharata is also Jishnu. <laughs> Uh, so similarly, uh, Arjuna's another name is also Krishna because he also looks like Lord Krishna to some extent. And therefore, uh, this word Jishnu is there. So Vishnu, Vishnave, Sarva, Jishnave. Okay, so that means uh, there is uh, nobody who can uh, who can overpower him. There is nobody who can conquer him. There is nobody who can defeat him. Why? Because he is the source of everything. He is the source of all energy, power, strength. So it's not possible that you can defeat Lord Vishnu, okay? Because uh, he, your own strength, you are getting from him only. So how can you defeat him? So even Prahlad Maharaj answers this uh, in the seventh canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. When Hiranya Kashyapu, his uh, crooked demoniac father, asks him, "Where do you get all this strength from?" And then he says, "I get all the strength from the same source." Who gives you the strength which you have upon with which you are controlling the entire world? Uh, so that is Lord Vishnu. That is why he's known as Sarva Vishnave Sarva Jishnave. Okay. Now the next sloka is Yas Yas Marana Matrena Janma Samsara Bandhanat Vimuchate Namas Tasme Vishnave Prabha Vishnave. I go down before him, the all powerful Lord Vishnu. The mere thought of whom releases one forever of the ties of birth and death. I bow down before that all powerful Lord Vishnu. Okay. So, yes, yes, Marana Matrena means, Marana Matrena means just by thought. Marana means thought. Matrena means just. <laughs> just mere by thinking of him. What happens? Janma Samsara Bandhanat. Okay. Vimuchate namastasme vishnave prabhu vishnave. So this means just, just by thinking of him, just by contemplating on his form, we get freed from the ocean of birth and death. Which means if, uh, if, we, are, if we want to be, see, it's like uh, they say you have this electricity, you know, there's this transformer, very big, you know, there are like hundreds and thousands of uh, electric. Uh, I, I don't know, they say kilowatt or volt or whatever that is. It's very powerful. If, if you, even if you go near, sometimes you may, you may be burnt. Okay. Uh, so if you touch an electric socket and there is current, you will get shock. Okay. So whatever you touch or whatever you are in contact with, you become like that. Okay. That is why they say you are the average of five people who you associate most closely. Okay. So if your friends are drunkards, they're smokers, they're meat eaters, they watch adult material and they're wasting money. So you will become 
all five of them <laughs> okay but if your uh, friends they are uh, good they are reading the scripture they are visiting holy places they are chanting names of god they are uh, associating with other holy people okay and they are spreading spiritual knowledge then you will also be like them you will do all of the five so therefore um, just by thinking of him okay so similarly when you think of somebody what you are doing you are actually touching that person which means touching is not physically you are coming in contact with that person okay so when you think of somebody you are not thinking mentally actually okay you are also in a way associating physically with that person okay that is why uh, one of the principles of brahmacharya is that one should not think of, about the opposite sex also because uh, they say thinking about the opposite sex is as good as lying down with the opposite sex okay i mean if you if you are thinking in a sexual way so you may say oh i am following uh, some brahmacharya but uh, i am just thinking about some member of the opposite sex but no you are actually not following because that's a very high standard of food but the principle is very clear okay so similarly when you are thinking of lord vishnu okay so therefore it is said yes yes marana matrena means one who just thinks of lord vishnu okay janma samsara bandhana which means he gets freedom from cycle of birth and death why because he is the emblem of all good qualities okay and he is exactly opposite of all the six anartha so if you are thinking of him constantly then what happens is you will get freedom from all the anarthas okay so sometimes people ask this question if god is all good then why there is evil in this world so actually uh, god doesn't create evil so the example is given like i have this studio light in front of me so i am facing this okay so i can see and you can see me but suppose i turn back okay i turn back and then what happens i will see my shadow in the ground why because i have turned away from the studio light right so therefore to the degree you turn to god to that degree you are in light which means all the good qualities are there to the degree you are away from god to that degree you will see darkness shadow inside uh, in front of you which means all the bad qualities okay so therefore when you are doing smarana matre na means you are just the thought of lord vishnu is going to give you freedom from janma samsara bandhana wow how, how can thinking of lord vishnu give you freedom from material life how is it possible yes it is because when you are thinking of him or you are thinking of the vishnu sasram you are thinking of his avatars like ram and krishna nursing her like nursing chaturdashi is around the corner uh, uh then uh, you are thinking of varaha dev okay then you are thinking of vaman dev so when you are reading the shrimad bhagavatam you are reading bhagavad gita so when you are contemplating on him and his activities and his form so then what happens is your anarthas will gradually disappear okay and then you will realize you are becoming more and more happier from inside and your material necessities are going down this does not mean you don't have a job or i mean you don't go to your job or you don't have a business or you don't get married it doesn't mean that it simply means that even if those things are not up to the mark the way it should have been the way you had expected you won't get disappointed because uh, your happiness is coming from uh, some other source which is uh, which is from lord vishnu so as i said if you touch a electric socket you will get shock okay so uh, one of the traits of lord vishnu is he is uh, atma ram which means he is he doesn't need anything he doesn't need anybody to please himself okay so those people those people who are devoted to lord vishnu narayana parayana they are also like atmaram you will see they are very easily satisfied they don't uh, have much expectations they, they don't have too much luxuries in their life why because they are in touch with lord vishnu so it's like electricity you touch and you get shock <laughs> so all of his qualities also come to you okay so uh and that's the secret of happiness actually is that uh, the secret of happiness is not that you are only earning material assets okay now when i say this then people say oh are you saying it's bad to earn money no i am not saying it's bad what i am saying is that cannot be the goal of your life okay so 
you do you earn money you have a job you earn million dollars billion dollars trillion dollars no harm with that but be in contact with lord vishnu because he's like that electric shock which will uh, pull out all your anarthas okay then even if you are rich you are happy even if you are not that rich you are still happy okay so uh, therefore uh, here it is a janma samsara bandhanat okay so this is very important and what happens when you are free from anarthas when your mind is peaceful you are calm you will be respectful to others you won't do bad for anybody you know now all the good things which people talk these days you know oh humanity 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 all the big big lectures people give about humanity that is not possible because humanity is only possible when your uh, mind is not tormented by animalistic desires so the so called humanity concept is only going to materialize to the extent to which your mind is not being controlled by these animalistic forces like lust greed anger pride and delusion then you will naturally uh, not assert the property of others then you will naturally be giving you will do you will do more don you will give more donations you will accept only what you need and uh, you, everybody will be nice everybody will be peaceful everybody will be respectful there will be no uh, nobody harming anybody there will be no murder so then uh, the, there is no crime you know there is no theft there is no abuse the, none of these things will be there these things are there because we are getting pulled by the anarthas because we have gone away from the socket so if you are away from that socket then you cannot get the current okay so the answer is you should go near the socket okay and how do you go near the socket somebody will say oh but where is lord vishnu i don't see him okay but uh, you can associate yourself with uh, the spiritual communities where uh, they are discussing about lord vishnu about shrimad bhagavatam bhagavad gita so then it's like you are coming in contact with that electric shock okay and then gradually when you are uh, becoming more and more elevated when you are having a satvic lifestyle by which you are elevating yourself then gradually you will see that uh, you are able to realize the 400 vishnu form which is within your heart okay because krishna says in the gita ishvara sarva bhutanam hridesya arjuna tishthati okay and therefore and by that time you 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 will be completely freed from material desires okay and krishna also says in the gita that anta kale cha mameva smaran muktva kalevaram okay so whatever state of being one remembers at the end of death that state he shall attain without fail so this means if you are not having any uh, unwanted materialistic desire uh, suppose a man gets a desire at the time of his death oh this lady was so beautiful i wish i could have enjoyed with her in in my uh, teenage or when i was young then what happens he has to take another birth okay and then he will get an opportunity maybe to enjoy with that lady again uh, or if a lady is also imagining oh i wish i could have stayed with this man then she has to take another birth again okay so uh, or if you desire oh i wish i would have stayed in this big mansion you know which was made of gold or i had this big car uh, so then you have to take another birth again okay so when you are not having these desires and you are having spiritual desires which means you want to spread spiritual knowledge more you want to uh, you want to associate closely with lord vishnu and the gurus and his devotees the satsang basically then you will go back to the spiritual world and krishna says in the gita yat gatva nani vartante tad dhama parama mama so one who reaches to my abode doesn't return back okay so this is how thinking of lord vishnu will give you liberation from birth and death okay vishnave prabhu vishnave nama tasmai so therefore this is very important uh, so i offer my obeisances om namo vishnave prabhu vishnave okay i bow down before uh, all powerful lord vishnu okay so therefore i will end here and this is these two shlokas are very important okay and as i said earlier he is also known as jishnu so jishnu means one who is ever victorious so many times people ask how how should we be ever victorious how should we be unconquerable okay so then the answer is you should go and touch the electric socket and you should also get the shock and that's how you see whoever was there so for example the pandavas were there with lord krishna or other 
Krishna was there with the Pandavas and they emerged victorious at the end. So they also became like Jishnu. <laughs> Ever victorious, and and after that, uh, Yudhishthira Maharaj was coronated as the emperor of the entire world, and uh, he ruled for many, many, many years. And then Parikshit Maharaj took over his kingdom. Okay, and uh, he's also another great personality about whom we will discuss some other time. So, therefore, if somebody asks you uh, why why should we read the Vishnu Sahasranam, then these are the reasons. Okay. Avikaraya Shuddhaya, he is perfectly pure. Nityaya Paramatmani, he is eternally the supreme. He is Paramatma, the source of everything actually. Sadaika Rupa Rupaya, Vishnave Sarva Jishnave, he is unconquerable, undefeatable. Yasya Smarana Matrena Janma Samsara Bandhana, Vimuchate Namastasme Vishnave Prabha Vishnave, Om Namo Vishnave Prabha Vishnave. Okay. And then the next shloka is Sri Vaisham Payano Vacha. Shutva dharmana seshena pavana nicha sarvasha yudhishthira shanta navam punareva bhyavasatam. All right. So, uh, punareva bhyavasata. Okay. So, then uh, Yudhishthira Maharaj will gradually enter. Okay. And then he will ask those million dollar questions. All right. Thank you very much for your patience and uh, if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me you can go to the website down in the description section and yes God is there with you or Lord Vishnu is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay thank you very much.